Let's learn more. Let's learn more. Let's learn more with liberty. Washington understood, above all else, that his actions as President of the United States would have long-lasting consequences. As our country's first president, Washington would again seek to establish precedents that would define the American presidency for all time. He deeply believed in the term precedent which is the first action that sets the standard and goal for all future actions. Washington understood that how he acted as president would influence how future American presidents and leaders would conduct themselves. He established the first cabinet, created the U.S. Navy, nominated the first Supreme Court Justice, and established the dollar as America's official currency. He also supported the Bill of Rights, which was ratified during his presidency. In other words, it was accepted by the states. He refused to formally align with a political party during his tenure as president. Being opposed to the idea of dividing the people of the United States along partisan lines, in other words, he was against dividing people on the basis of what political party they supported. Much of Washington's first term focused on economic concerns. For example, he supported the establishment of the first National Bank of the United States. This, however, was a controversial position that led to fighting between Alexander Hamilton, the Secretary of the Treasury, and Thomas Jefferson, the Secretary of State. Hamilton believed in a strong national government with a national bank, whereas Jefferson believed the states should mainly direct the government. Anyway, like most things during his presidency, this was eventually resolved. Washington had originally intended to retire after his first term, but was again persuaded to run. Changing his mind partly due to the instability of the government at the time. 